हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल होप यू आर वॉचिंग वीडियो एट एनी टाइम बट मॉर्निंग इज ऑलवेज फ्रेश इन टू डेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट दी नजल प्रिपरेशन वॉट आर दी नजल पाउडर्स आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम दिस इज अंकिता पेरडे वंस अगेन वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी विल डील विद द टॉपिक नजल प्रिपरेशन दिस नजल प्रिपरेशन विच आर एज यू सी इन द इमेज यू आर रेग्युलर एक्झाम्पल विच यू आर यू आर युजिंग इन द युअर डेली लाईफ दॅट इज विक्स इनहेलर इट्स अ नजल प्रिपरेशन इट्स इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द स्प्रे दॅट यू हॅव टू इनहेल दॅट दिज आर द नजल प्रिपरेशन मीन्स विच आर यूज इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ द नोज एंड इट्स रिलेटेड डिजॉर्डर्स दीज आर नथिंग बट दी नजल प्रिपरेशन फर्स्ट वी विल सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ नजल प्रिपरेशन दट इज ड्रग प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर अप्लाइड टॉपिकली टू म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ द नोज टू ट्रीट द कंडिशन्स ऑफ नोज और नजल सिम्टम्स एंड दे आर कॉल्ड दी नजल प्रिपरेशन सो वी दिस इज सिंपल वेरी सिंपल डेफिनेशन मीन्स जे का आहेत नोजच्या डिसीजेससाठी टू ट्रीट दी कंडिशन्स ऑफ नोज म्हणजे नोज रिलेटेड जे काही डिसिजेस असतील कंजेशन्स असतील दॅन इन्फेक्शन्स असतील सो जे काही डिकंजेस्टंट्स ड्रग अँटीहिस्टामाईन्स ड्रग्स असतील युब्रिकंट्स नजल स्टिरॉइड्स जे वापरले जातात असे प्रोडक्ट्स आहेत ते ते सगळे नझलचे काय आहेत तर नझल प्रिपरेशन्स आहेत की जे टू ट्रीट दी कंडिशन्स ऑफ दी नोज ऑर दी नझल सिम्टम्स दे आर दी नझल प्रिपरेशन सो वी कॅन कॉल्ड इट ॲज दिस दिस प्रिपरेशन्स दे आर फॉर्म्युलेटेड ॲज अ यू विल गेट इट इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ दी पावडर्स स्प्रेज जेल्स ड्रॉप्स then creams ointment solution for the solutions for the irrigation these nasal preparations commonly they are the solution or they are the suspension which we can administer as a drop or in the fine of the fine mist fine mist manje kay aerosol ata tumhi perfume vaparta sagle jana you what you are doing in that यू आर अप्लाइंग प्रेशर ऑन दॅट तुम्ही प्रेशर अप्लाय करता त्याच्यावर प्रेशर अप्लाय केल्यानंतर काय होतं इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ दी मिस्ट वॉट एव्हर परफ्युम्स आर देअर और वॉट एव्हर दी सोल्युशन इन साईड दी कंटेंट इज देअर सो दॅट इज दी दॅट इज दी फेड आउट सो सिमिलरली लाईक दॅट दिज नजल फॉर्म्युलेशन विच आर स्पेसिफिकली व्यूज इन दी ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ दी अस्थमा दिज आर दी इन दी फॉर्म ऑफ अ फाईन मिस्ट देन Uh, that is simple drug solution which is uh, adequate for this uh, purpose uh, that is produces the better disper- dispersion uh, system then this nasal residence time uh, that you kindly note down this sentence that nasal residence time for this such formulation like the nasal formulation it is about the 3 to 20 minutes that is the nasal residence time it is kindly note down in your notebook nasal residence time is ha kiti ahe 3 to 20 minute ahe and uh, exhibit the high inter individual variab- variability then now we will see the advantages of this nasal formulation so in that first advantage is in that like if we are taking any drug by the oral route then there are the many side effects there is a first pass metabolism is there so drug degrade in this case drug degradation is avoided as the hepatic uh, first pass metabolism is bypassed then it show the uh, rapid drug absorption and the very quick onset of action then bioavailability for smaller drug molecules is good means which are the smaller in the size so the bioavailability that is rate and extent of drug that reaches the systemic circulation is good in this case these nasal preparations they are, that are suitable for the drugs which are uh, means some formulations are there they are not absorbed by the oral route so uh, that it is the alternative best option these nasal preparations which are there then uh, to deliver the protein and peptide containing drugs this nasal form is very very better 
then uh, it is administration by these uh, nasal preparations it is invasive non invasive and it is the easier for the patient patient compliance will not be created here so these are the very few advantages of the nasal preparation the next we will see disadvantages of this nasal preparations these are uh, these preparations uh, these are primarily suitable for only the potent drugs which are there so for that potent drugs these are primarily suitable then drugs uh, for the continuous and frequent administration they they will be cause the harmful long term effects so harmful long term side effects means if we are continuously or frequently taking that nasal formulations then it will be the harmful for our body these nasal preparations which are there that variability uh, high degree of the variability in the uh, we can say it in the measurement of the absorption of the drug so that from person to person then from uh, that is a very it differ conditions like that are differ so kay hot jate thi changes hot jate from person to person that is the variability of the drug variability of the dosage form which are changes from the person to person then these nasal formulations are there uh, that is uh, they produce this the nasal irritation see your nasomist is there then uh, like that uh, some very uh, famous formulation of the merk is there i think nasivion like that uh, nasivion or uh, optimist uh, drop like that uh, nasomist nasomist like drops are there so this produces the nasal irritations that is the irrit they produce the irritations to the mucosal membrane so sometimes they are inconvenient for the patients then nasal cavity provides the smaller drug absorption surface through nasal preparations this nasal cavity it, it is provide the what is provide smaller amount of the drug absorption through the nasal preparation so these are the disadvantages of the nasal formulations then now we will see the types of these uh, nasal uh, no no first we will see about the nasal powders so these nasal powders these are used for the nasal drug delivery the suitability of the powder formulation it is dependent on the solubility particle size then various uh, thermodynamic properties are there nasal irritancy of the drug or excipients then uh, see uh, we had seen in the chapter drying chapter madhe apan bagitlo hota spray drying and freeze drying methods so these are these methods spray drying freeze drying methods they are used to produce the nasal powder nasal powders ja kahi ahet tya spray drying method ne kiwa freeze drying method ne banavlya jatat then nasal powder formulation sathi maximum uh, quantity ji ahe drug chi ti aste approximately 50 mg depending on the bulk density of the material these are the muco adhesive systems are there so this is first that we are going to see nasal powders uh, this classification of nasal powder then are various like that we regularly see the advantages disadvantages its quality control test storage like that so first definition of nasal powders so these nasal powders these are the dosage forms which are simply formulated by active pharmaceutical ingredients with fillers here fillers manje kay तर जे का डायल्युअंट आता स्टार्च अल लैक्टोज अल डायल्युअंट है बाइंडर्स हैं डिसेंटिग्रेंट्स आती ग्लाइडंट आते ते सगे का फिलर फिलर मे एक्सिपिंट अपन जे वो ऐज अ फार्मास्युटिकल अपन फार्मास्युटिकल एड मन यूज करो तो है फिलर सो दिस इज वेरी सीम्पल डेफिनेशन of nasal powder that is these are the dosage forms which are simply formulated by active pharmaceutical ingredients with fillers then now we will see the classification of this nasal powder devices so mainly it is divided into the three, three classes in first one is insufflators then dry powdered inhaler that is dpi and pressurized metered dose inhaler that is pmdi 
so first is encephalators or these are the encephalations these are the uh, preparations and for to administer a drug a particular device is used that device is called encephalators and it deliver the drug substance for inhalation when we inhale heat that uh, like you are a uh, wicks inhaler is there तुम्ही काय करता ते नो नजल ज्या कॅविटी आहे तिथे तुम्ही धरता आणि तुम्ही ते काय करता मोठ्याने श्वास घेता ते इनहेल करता सो सिमिलरली इन्सफ इन्सफलेटर्स हे काय आहेत की जे काय करता डिलिव्हर करतात ड्रग सबस्टन्स फॉर इनहेलेशन दिस इन्सफलेटर डिवाइस दॅट कॅन बी कन्स्ट्रक्टेड दॅट इज सिम्पल कन्स्ट्रक्शन इज देअर स्ट्रॉ ऑर ट्यूब इज देअर लाईक दॅट सिमिलरली यू कॅन सी हिअर दिस इज दी पेशंट अँड दिस इज इफ दिस इज दी प्रोसेस ऑफ दी Uh, encephalation and this patient is taking that anesthetic uh, agents are there so you can see here that is this is the straw or tube is there and this straw or tube contain the uh, drug substances uh, or maybe it sometimes it contains the syringe also these are the encephalations means these are the device and means uh, you can write it down in the simple language that is encephalations these are the preparations which are the administered using a device that device is called encephalators to deliver that drug substance for inhalation then these encephalator devices which can be uh, constructed by using the straw or uh, tube which contain the drug substances and it sometimes it contains the syringe also these are examples of progesterone encephalation thalidomide encephalation and insulin encephalation kindly note it down the examples of these nasal powder devices that is progesterone encephalation thalidomide encephalation and insulin encephalation as all of first encephalators then after that next is a dry powder inhaler dpi so dpi formulation consists usually of either a drug then uh, only formulations or these and the uh, ordered mixture which contains the drug along with the excipient most commonly that is the uh, lactose monohydrate then this uh, for these purposes that is to reduce that particle size so this method that is micro ionization or this is also called as a jet milling which are used to obtain that is uh, this size of the drug that is 1 to 5 micrometer then uh, this dpi this is dry powder inhalers these are the devices that through which a powder formulation of a drug is is delivered for the to produce the local and systematic effect local effect or systemic effect via the pulmonary route and this dpi these are commonly used uh, in the treatment of the respiratory diseases like the asthma bronchitis emphysema then copd that is chronic obstructive pulmonary uh, diseases and sometimes uh, also used in the treatment of diabetes mellitus this uh, this is uh, dry powder inhaler that is dpi these are the formulations which contain the drug uh, only formulations with an ordered mixture of a drug and excipient and it is commonly it's a lactose monohydrate then the particle size we can reduce um, for that uh, by using the device that is micro ionization or jet milling in the range of the 1 to 5 micrometer and uh, here deep the through these devices that is drug is delivered for local and it produce the local and systemic effect via the pulmonary route and uh, to treat the asthma chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases bronchitis emphysema and also in the treatment of diabetes mellitus this is used then these examples uh, of these uh, are the albuterol sulfate inhalation powder formoterol dry powder for inhalation formoterol formoterol dry powder for inhalation and albuterol sulfate inhalation powder these are the examples of this dry powder inhaler then after that it's third type first apan first type kutla bagitla apan encephalators second one is a dry powder inhaler and third one is a pressurized meter dose inhaler that is also called as a pmdi 
so this pmdi it is a device that delivers the specific amount of the medication to the lungs in the form of a short burst of the aerosolized medicine which is inhaled by the patient then this is the commonly used delivery system for treating the asthma as uh, bronchodilators copd and other respiratory diseases then these examples uh, these are the salbutamol pressurized inhalation that is uh, asthalin asthalin sipla company's a famous formulation ahe asthalin so te kai ahe pressurized metered dose inhaler ahe then aerocort rota cap ahe aerocort rota cap sipla chi in that contains the beclomethasone ripropionate and levosolbutamol inhaler then uh, uh, palmo dual ipratropium bromide teotropium bromide these are formulations are there so combination of these ipratropium bromide and uh, salbutamol this is uh, uh, palmo uh, palmo dual pressurized metered dose inhaler so these are this uh, these are the formulation pressurized metered dose inhaler pm dy pm di that is it is a device which delivers that uh, drug to the lungs in the form of the aerosolized medicines manje kay that is you have to apply the pressure in that in case to treat the asthma like patients astat so after opening in the mouth you have to apply the pressure on that and you have to inhale the dosage form which is there in the form of a mist like that that is your aerosol perfume sa jo phenomena ahe ki je tumhi daily life madhe use karta so that should be used here uh, this is the classification that we had uh, seen that of the nasal powder uh, devices that is the uh, then we had seen today that is uh, definition definition that is drugs which product which are applied topically to mucous membrane of the nose and for treating the uh, conditions of the nose nasal symptoms these are the nasal preparations then these uh, advantages disadvantages of these nasal formulations we had seen then nasal powders we had seen that is classification of these encephalitis are there then next we had seen dry powder inhaler dpi and pressurized meter dose inhaler so this is about uh, the classification of nasal powder devices next class we will continue with the advantages and disadvantages and the storage method of preparation storage of this nasal powders so hope you like this video happy learning uh then the students watching the live video you can put your uh, your roll numbers in the live chat box okay so stay tuned for the next video happy learning stay safe